Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregor Manorino. Wednesday, July 24th, 2024, pre-market report. We have a lot to talk about this morning, but it's it really is about time that you and I started to uh, focus on the elephant in the room that nobody's talking about. It's being hidden from everybody via the mainstream media outlets and pretty much every, everybody else here. Let's back up a moment here. You and I understand that underlying this current financial nightmare that we are in right now and moving rapidly towards, there is an issue here regarding the banks that is monumental. I, I can't say this another way, and I'm not trying to sound overly dramatic. Before anybody else, and I mean anybody else, you and I right here on this blog laid out the three issues, actually a fourth, but three issues involving the banking system, especially the smaller and regional banks. No loans, no deposits, and no deals. Does that sound familiar to you? It should if you've been with me for any length of time. From years ago, you and I started to talk about this. Now, I have done or tried at least to outline for all of you what's coming with regard to the banks. We're going to see uh, a cascade of banks' failures moving forward as power is consolidated right up to the big Wall Street institutions. Okay, that's a no-brainer. But what's being hidden from people, again, is those exact issues. No deposits, no, no loans, and no deals, which is obviously a factor for the larger banks. But the, the larger banks, they have a main line right to the Fed who's got all the liquidity they could possibly want. You understand? And then there's the other factor that is you and I are going to be, be forced yet again to bail this out. Now let's talk more about the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room here is this commercial real estate issue that again is being hidden from everybody. Let's just back up a moment. Now th this was getting some coverage a while back. This is from uh this is from April of this year with regard to the regional banks, U.S. regional banks seeing booking more commercial real estate losses. This is, <laughs> um, how do I put this maybe another way? Okay. The issue of commercial real estate losses is, is a black hole enveloped in a black hole. It's almost like a dual black hole. Not only are we dealing with issues, you and I, we're going to be forced to deal with this. The next selected president is going to have to deal with this. It's all being hidden right now, as, as things always are. People are being, today more than ever, and I, we're going to talk more about distractions and deceptions in a moment here. Again, distractions, deceptions, lies, propaganda, look here, don't look over there. Uh, the festering of hatred, the, dis the decay of society on the back of this all. I mean, we're being led to the slaughter, all of us. You understand? And this is also deliberate too. But the fact of the matter is, there is a major issue here. I can't even underscore that. And the reason why I'm, I can't underscore that enough is, we don't know how deep this black hole is. And again, this black hole, which obviously is, um, you know, involves the regional banks, the smaller institutions. It also is going to hit the larger institutions. But again, they have their direct line to the Fed. And not only that, mark my words on this, people. If you thought the, the, the bailouts that you and I were forced by a loving, caring members of Congress to, uh, to, to you know, to... to get this situation out of the hole that it's in. All we did was dig a bigger hole. Again, the bailouts of 2008 on the on our backs. This one, I think about what I'm talking about here. These institutions, the banking system, the CEOs, the Jamie Dimons, all these, they made bad bets. They tried to hide them too. None more so than JP Morgan, the Wall Street super bank of super banks. Billions and billions and billions of dollars in bad derivative bets. You have to understand, 
Not only are you and I going to be forced with the face value of these commercial uh, real estate loans that went bad. Do you realize? You, maybe you do, maybe you don't. But when you're looking at any part of this market at face value, you have to understand that both on, on either side, upside and downside, there are layers and 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 layers of derivative bets. Okay, side bets on the underlying asset itself. Let's talk about a, a particular house. Let's talk about one house in your neighborhood, maybe your own, I don't know. If you have a loan out on that home, there is layers and layers of derivative bets on either side that have been taken out against your property. You realize that? Do you know that? You have no idea how bad this is, how deep the system goes, how perverted it is, how twisted it is. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that, let's say, uh, bank loan XYZ on property XYZ, no one really even knows who owns it. Um, and it certainly isn't you. If you took out a loan, I mean, people, look, this, this, this thing is absolutely out of control. Anyway, look, so what I want to bring to light here with this video is we have a black hole in a black hole. And that is the, the black hole of the financial system itself is, again, this is a system which has failed. It's being floated on oceans of debt. And we're going to see a lot more of that moving forward. Whether it's Trump, which I can't imagine how there's a way he's, he's going to not be selected as the next president. But let's just, again, I did a whole video about if Harris is selected. We'll talk more about that in a moment here because I got a lot of feedback off of that. And a lot of people telling me how wrong I am. Maybe I am wrong. Look, I come out here and I tell all of you with my best. And, and again, look, I'm not trying to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not getting paid like some people are, which I'm going to tell you in a moment who they are, to promote Harris or whatever agenda they got going on. I personally don't think it matters at all. Zero who gets selected to sit behind the resolute desk because certain things are going to happen, period. And we'll talk more about that too. But it is definitely time for you and I to address these issues with the, the black hole in a black hole regarding commercial real estate losses, regarding the entire insolvent. Now, there's something else that I cannot possibly underscore anymore. The entire banking system, the financial system is bankrupt. It's insolvent. Nations of the world, slaves to their central bank. People of the world, slaves to their central banks here. And this isn't going to change. But what we're going to see, again, do you believe, here's the question out of this video that we've gotten through so far. Do you believe that when the bottom falls out of this, and it's going to with regard to commercial real estate and the bankrupt financial system itself, do you think, I'm laughing here, that our loving, caring representatives are going to allow these institutions to take the, the losses themselves? Or do you believe, just like last time, you and I are going to be forced to bail it all out? Yeah, seems kind of like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Of course, we're going to be forced to bail it out. This is, again, the extermination, part of the elimination, extermination of the middle class around the world, which uh, is only going to get a lot worse here. This elephant in the room uh, is obviously, well, it's, again, it's, it's, it's like a double-barreled shotgun. You got the issue of the insolvent financial system, the banks which... Uh, no deposits, no loans, no deals, commercial real estate losses, which is a black hole you can't even believe. And you and I are going to be faced with the brunt of that. Now, yesterday I explained to you um, that we're moving into um, a, a part of the year where, where, where it's highly likely that we are going to see some extreme volatility from right now today all through next month in this market, which means we could see some pretty significant swings up and down, but you and I, we're going to laugh at it all. Why? Because we're watching the MMRI. This is the MMRI from this morning, Manorino Market Risk Indicator. Link in the description of this video. It's free. There's no signups. There's no anything. It's just right there on the top of the second page of my website for you. This trend, in my opinion, is going to continue. What are we looking at? When we're looking at this, you know what we're seeing here, right? This is the Fed buying the debt. This is the Fed weakening the dollar, okay? This trajectory, in my opinion, no matter who 
is selected. Again, you know my take on this. Nothing's going to stop this. This is going to we're going to get a much steeper, sharper uh, uh, currency devaluation situation around the world, not just here in the United States. So we're going to see the central banks racing faster toward the bottom to kill their currencies as the new system is introduced. Okay, and this is also asset purchases by the Fed. The Fed buying the debt opens up a, a doorway for cash to make its way into the stock market, period. It also pulls cash away from assets it should be going into. Commodities, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, crude oil. Make sense to you? This means that commodities, the lower this goes, you have to understand, the more on sale commodities go. You get it? I get it. I hope, I hope you do. Anyway, so keep this in mind. With the seasonal volatility that we're going to see, if, if history is any guide, forget about the markets where everyone's looking. <laughs> Look at the Dow. No, you and I are looking at this because this is the driver. This is the driver. The debt market is the driver of it all. You understand? Boom. Now, let us, let us uh, you know, going back to commercial real estate, this was in April. Okay, this is today. This is today. Deutsche Bank stock slides on further losses from commercial real estate. What did I write here? Expect massive public bailouts. I write notes to myself sometimes, and there you go. Yeah, we're gonna, there's going to be public bailouts. Again, do you think that these institutions are going to be allowed to take those losses? No. No, they're not going to. They can make all the bad bets they want. You're going to pay for it, and they know it. Because you did last time. Where was the public outcry? Oh, it almost was non-existent. Now, let's talk a little further here. Um, I outlined yesterday a what-if scenario. What if Harris is selected over Trump? Again, I cannot see this happening in any way, shape, or form. But let's just throw it out there again like I did yesterday. Watch the video. The one place Greg Manorino will be wrong in the short run, and I got beat up pretty good yesterday. I read through the comments here, is with regard to Bitcoin. If Trump is selected, which is my bet here, obviously the Bitcoin president, the crypto president, these are not my words right out of his mouth, okay? Um, obviously, this is extremely bullish for Bitcoin and the crypto space. In the, in the short run, who knows where this can go? In the long run, we all know where this is going again. So if, if Harris here, Kamala, if she is, uh, is selected, yes, that would not be good for Bitcoin or the crypto space. But that does not mean, in my view, and I would believe that my lions out here are also crypto bulls, understand that, uh, that you, can't, you can't stop what's coming. You may hate cryptocurrency. You may despise Bitcoin or whatever. You, I don't care how much you hate or how much you may pray to the God Almighty that it goes to zero. It ain't going there, okay? You could... If Harris was selected, it would be a lot of volatility, and Greg Manorino in the short run with regard to Bitcoin would be proven to be wrong. In the longer run, <laughs> I'm just, you know, look, it's, it's a no-brainer in my view. Again, the eventual meltdown of the debt market is going to melt down stock markets of the world. Cash doesn't fly away like this. Watch this. I'm going to do a little motion for you. It doesn't fly away in money heaven. No, it just moves from one asset class into another. Risk on, meaning cash moving into the stock market, will, will reverse so fast and so sharp, people aren't going to believe it. We're going to see cash move into commodities. You're going to see move cash into cryptocurrencies as well. And this is going to come, a quote with the, come across to us in the form of filling the black hole or the double barrel, the black hole that we have. Commercial real estate, and, um, you know, no loans, no deals, no deposits. Now, again, look, people, I told you what to do from a long time ago. If you're new here, then maybe you need a, a wake-up call. Uh, or here's your wake-up call for you. If you're new here, get out of the smaller and regional institutions. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like you're, either, you're really stuck with two things. One, which is the better of the two suggestions, which I'm going to make for you, is take your cash and put it into a credit union. A credit union uh, does not take on the risk of a commercial bank. You understand? Uh, they operate nonprofit. So you should look into a credit union or 
one of the big Wall Street institutions, except for Bank of America. I don't like Bank of America, okay? If you look at Bank of America compared to its peers in performance, you'll see what I'm talking about, but save yourself the trouble here. Just avoid Bank of America, at least in my view. Now, it looks like uh, Kamala Harris has a, uh, a very big supporter here. Kramer says Harris would be better than Trump or Biden for mega caps and international business. Let me say this. Kramer knows this is not true. What we do know is true. Oh, here's another one. Market watch. Uh, Kramer comes out swinging for, ha for Harris here. Um, Kramer may look like an idiot and sound like an idiot a lot of times, but I don't think he's that, that stupid, okay? What we're going to see, regardless of Harris, Kamala, or, uh, or, or, or the big T here, we're going to see a lot more currency devaluation, and I mean <laughs> epic amounts of currency devaluation. We're going to see epic amounts of asset purchases by the Fed and suppressed rates, okay? So that is a boost to the market. But from a business standpoint, and I can't even believe that, that Kramer would say such a thing like this, that Harris would be better than Trump or Biden for the mega caps in international business here. Um, he knows it's not true, in, in my view. Um, I, I, there's just no way. Um, Trump would be much more, much more uh, uh, of a positive here for business, for international business, in my view, um, which means a much higher stock market. Market's going higher either way, at least in the shorter run, until we face the double-barreled black hole. Again, don't lose sight of this. This commercial real estate issue is a black hole, enveloped in a black hole. And that is, of course, we're not being told of, 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 of the, uh, the dark, and I, I can't underscore that either, worse. The dark side of the financial system right now, it's absolutely insolvent and it's bankrupt, as the entire system is. Um, it operates in a perpetual vacuum. And I mean, think about this. Imagine a system that cannot function unless more debt is piled onto it every day. More and more and more and more exponentially. It, it must and it only can operate in a vacuum. And the more debt that is forced upon your back and mine. And it doesn't matter if Harris, Kamala, is selected, or if Trump, the big T, and Damian Thorne are, 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 are selected. We're going to see a lot more of that. Count on it. But again, I just wanted to bring this to your attention here. Uh, this guy knows this is not true, but he's pushing it down your throat. He's pushing it down your throat because um, what do you think? Why do you think he's pushing this down your throat? I, I, I think it's a no-brainer here. Uh, the man is being paid to say what he's, he's saying. Me, no amount of cash. None. Zero. You could offer Greg Manorino the world and everything in it. You think I'm going to lie to you? Nope. I'm going to give it to you as straight and as hard as I possibly can. A lot of people don't like my style, and that's okay. You don't like it? Fly away. <laughs> you don't belong here. I mean, I'm, I'm, this is a truth channel, and it will always be that way. And I got your back. All right, people, look, we covered a lot here. Um, I hope that I, I've shed a little light on this, this, this black hole enveloped in a black hole for you. Um, look, you do what you want with what I say, okay? But it should be clear to you that you need to get your cash out of the smaller and regional institutions. These institutions are going down like a domino effect. You understand? And all of that, again, what's going to happen here is the larger institutions who, again, have a line directly to the Fed are going to buy it all for, for pennies on the dollar. They're going to buy all their assets, all the good assets are going to be purchased. Think about what I'm about to say. Okay. If you recall what happened during the 2008, Bear Stearns, okay, uh, their good assets got absorbed by J.P. Morgan, who got stuck who got stuck deep in the heart of the gabagool with the bad assets? You did. And so did I. Okay. How does that work? Where was the uproar? Oh, there wasn't any. Do you think that's not going to happen again? Oh, of course. All the good assets, and there are some, obviously, on the books of the smaller and regional banks. They're all going to get bought up 
by the larger institutions. And I'm going to tell you it's a, a little secret if you don't, maybe you don't want to hear this, but they're going to buy it for pennies on the dollar. When you and I are going to get stuck with the dog poop, I can't say S-H-I-T, can't say that word out here. So all the dog, you and me, dog shit, we're going to get stuck with it all. You understand? Just like last time. You think it's going to be any different? Whether Trump is selected or Kamala? People, this guy here loves you a lot from the heart. I hope you got something out of this video, man. I really, really do. If, if, if this is kind of too much, watch it twice. Why not? People, this guy here got your back. So we can't lose. You got my back? I know I can't lose. And uh, I got you as well. People, we're going to get together today, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern for my live stream. I hope to see you there, honestly. Uh, and until we meet again, please take care of yourselves and each other.